in with Natasha, who's watching some storms tonight, follow, yeah. tracking them. Yes, um, a lot of it's like playing whack a mole. If you remember the game from uh, the 80s, uh, yep. it truly is like, oh, there is a thunder. No, there is a thunderstorm. Okay, so we're tracking quite a bit of activity moving up the valley from the south going to the north. Here's your view right now from our uh, coin tower cam. You can see out in the distance what a gorgeous line of color there just above the horizon. So we're starting to see a lot of these clouds break up and uh, many of these thunderstorms reaching their mature stage and falling apart. Let's go over to Ridgefield. This is where we have some really dark looking clouds out there. Uh, this view out in the distance as the crow flies, um, you would reach battleground from this point. Um, this is where some of the heaviest showers are off in the distance. You can see right though over I-5, the road itself is dry. Your temperature 51 degrees over to Seaside. Look at that shot. Now that's looking really nice. Uh, no thunderstorms here at Seaside. 45 degrees getting a break from the weather there. Here's radar. What we're seeing right now again is the most active weather is right along the coast range here. If you draw a line out from Salem and go to the west, this is where we're still running into some active weather. Now a little bit closer to Portland, isolated showers, very light variety to the west out towards Tiger, Milwaukee. But then once again, you look out towards Gresham, Damascus. If you remember the last few days, this has been quite the hot spot for hail and thunderstorm activity. Uh, right now, you're not seeing any lightning strikes. You may, of course, be receiving some hail. That is one possibility. Other than that, just some heavy showers out towards Gresham and Troutdale over to Camas. And then as you make your way up through eastern Vancouver, up through Battleground, that's where you're seeing some heavier showers. Now take a look at this. This thunderstorm continues to deliver not only hail, but also lightning strikes. Uh, heading up towards uh, Willamina here, I would say in the next uh, 30 minutes or so, it's moving at a slower pace now at about 16 miles per hour. Uh, again, going directly north. Uh, just to the west of Dallas, this is where you have this thunderstorm activity. I anticipate it will stay more or less on a northerly track overall. We have this big, broad area of low pressure that's circulating just offshore. You can see how wide this system is going all the way down to the San Francisco Bay Area. So as long as this big trough is in place offshore, we continue with this unsettled weather. So when is it going to go away? By the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. Uh, late tonight, a chance to see a few more isolated showers pop up in the valley. Otherwise, we're going to be mostly drying out. Tomorrow morning, a chance of showers. Portland, all of this transitions a little bit further to the south, south of Salem as we get to tomorrow night. And then goodbye to the wet weather all the way through Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Then Sunday, we bring back in the rain, but Sunday morning, you're looking pretty good. You're looking dry. Sunday afternoon, there's your rain all the way out to the coast and snow for the Cascades. And look at that, some colder air. If we get the cold air to combine with this moisture coming through Sunday into Monday, that could lead to snow levels down to as low as even 1,000 feet. Of course, we'll keep you posted on that. Day planner for tomorrow. Portland, Salem 52, partly cloudy for the afternoon at the coast 47 and the gorge 51, 44, central Oregon, eastern Oregon 52. Take a look at your seven day forecast, 60, 60 and again up to 63 for you Saturday. Move those clocks forward on Sunday and then we go back in time in terms of winter type weather as we get to Sunday night into early Monday morning with temperatures overnight dropping into the mid 30s more showers in the forecast. So we're going to see quite a variety over the next seven yeah. days. Spring's knocking on that door, Natasha. Let it in. Let <laughs> it trying. in, man. Don't be afraid. <laughs> hey, to keep track of weather changes on the go, 